Stonehouse Gallery in Port Colborne is the place to be this weekend as nearly 200 works of art from local students will be up for sale with proceeds benefiting Niagara Beeway. A while back I had an idea to run a whole school art project for Steel Street School. I've been running art workshops for children uh, for almost 10 years uh, now in the local area and in Toronto and I thought it was time to give back a little bit and do some volunteer work. So I thought uh, I'll go to my daughter's school and I'll volunteer some time and run some workshops. That turned into a whole school project. When I decided to get the entire school involved, I thought since we're going to be creating 200 roughly pieces of artwork, we should have a show. And then I thought, what shall we choose for a theme? And Steel Street School uh, mascot is the Stinger Bee. And from there, the project has just expanded beyond all expectations. I got in touch with uh, the owner of the local honeybee store. She put me in touch with George Scott, who is the chair of Niagara Beeway. And the project just took off from there. So uh, I've spent about six weeks at the school, going from classroom to classroom, from JK right up to grade eight. Uh, giving the children an opportunity not only to work in different mediums, we've done clay sculptures, pen and ink drawings, painting on wood, all sorts of things they wouldn't normally have the opportunity to work uh, with materials, you know, in their regular everyday classes. Um, but beyond that, I think one of the best things so far about the project is realizing that these children are being given the opportunity to experience making a difference in the world. You know, even as adults we think we're only one person, you know, what can you do? And now here we have 200 children involved in a project that is important to all of us um, and they are learning that they themselves individually can make a difference. Niagara Beeway is grateful for the support from the students and the chance to spread the word about the decline in the local honeybee population. Well, I'm really encouraged by the kids who are getting into it. Uh, I've had a few opportunities to talk to the kids. Uh, they're really enthusiastic. They care. They want to know. This is what it's all about. It's not so much about um, the adults now who are quite mature in society, but over the next 10 to 20 years, these kids are going to be living exactly what we are now doing. So if we, what we are doing now is reducing the bee population, which has a cascading effect on birds and all of the other plants, etc., etc that they tend to, um, the children are the ones who get the residual of what we throw behind. And uh, for me personally, I love honeybees. I'm not interested at all in throwing the honeybee populations away, like many people are stepping away from beekeeping. It's a tragedy. We're doing everything that we possibly can with public support. Forget governments, forget all those outside agencies. We're going to do it here in Niagara. Check out the show May 31st and June 1st at the Stonehouse Gallery in Port Colborne. In Niagara, William Kelly, The Source.